How's it going guys, here's the CS student again and today we're gonna be doing a challenge called Login. Login is a web exploitation challenge and it's also from a Pico CTF called Pico Mini. And let's read the description, it says my dog sitter's brother made this website but I can't get in it. I can't get in, okay, can you help? And then they give you this link, right? So let's go to it and then let's see what we can do. So for example, let's just try admin, um, I don't know, admin, and it says incorrect password, and perhaps you could try SQL injection, right, like something like that, um, or even just like this, right, but it's not going to work, and the reason why it's not going to work is because it's not SQL injection what's happening. So if we check the page source, we can see an index.js, right? And if we go over here, this looks a little bit ugly in my opinion. Um, so I'll just open a new tab. I'll make it called a.js. And I'll try to format it for you guys a little bit. As you can see, this is just a bunch of JavaScript that basically gets the username, gets the password, and then the only thing that it's doing, because I'm going to simplify the function for you guys, it's just verifying that this, which looks a bit like base64 in my opinion, matches the username. So this has to be equal to the username, right? So for example, if we go back and we can try, let's say, joy and, and a dot, it says incorrect username, right? But now let's try at and it says incorrect password. So the username is correct. Um, but how how do you know? Like how do I know that it's actually correct? Okay, so let's go to this terminal. And let me just for example echo dash n admin and base64. And as you can see, this looks identical to where is it? To this part over here. Right? Is the same. So basically, in theory, if I go back to the code over here, um, I'm going to zoom in. Yeah, if I go back to the code over here, so this one has to check the username, but now it, it also has to check the password, right? So I will believe this one is the password. And obviously, since all this in, is in base64, we can obviously decode it, right? So base64-t, and there you go. Because ETF server, 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 server. So that's pretty much it. This challenge wasn't that hard. It's you just need to have a look at it and try to understand what's going on with the JavaScript code. So I hope you guys enjoyed the challenge.